10. Sharktopus, 35 feet. Have you ever wondered, what's scarier, a giant shark or a giant octopus? Well, if you ask me, I'd say none of them scarier than the Sharktopus. Better known as the S11, this freakish monster was basically a hybrid of a shark and octopus. It was created by Dr. Nathan Sands as a super weapon for a military known as Blue Water. But I feel Blue Abomination would have fared to be a much better name, but still, let's go with Blue Water. You see, being a product of military experiments, Sharktopus is a living weapon and driven solely to kill. This oversized hunter uses tentacles and teeth to kill all humans on land or in water indiscriminately. 9. Dino Croc 45 feet. Behold the Dino Croc. And just like its name suggests, it's actually half dino and half croc. Basically a theropod croc hybrid. And guess what? Even this abomination was created by a crazy scientist. Particularly Dr. Campbell at Paula Kennedy's genetic research company. I don't know what's with these crazy scientists in these B films, but they always seem to make crazy, giant man-eating monsters. 8. Kumanga and its variants, Kamanga, Hanaga, and Zenbunga, 40 to 60 feet. So, right off the bat, what you notice is, that's not the typical design language that we're used to, and rather seems to be inspired by another kaiju. That is the Megalon to some extent. In fact, this version of Kumanga appears to be a hybrid of other kaiju. Take for example the Kamanga that seems to have acquired blade hands, and Kamakura's raptorial arms. As for the other forms, Hanega is basically a flying variant of Kumanga, who seems to have insectoid wings. Last but not least, the Zen Bugga displays all the properties of its counterparts, including the wings of Hanega and the blades of Kamanga. So, you could call it the most ultimate variant of Kumanga in the anime series. 7. OPC Killer, 65 feet. Big gooberfish, huge O-teeth. The OPC killer is basically an amalgamation of evolutionary traits found in other animals. Like a crustacean, it has armor and limbs, but also has the massive hinged jaws of other fishes. So, the OP was kinda like a fish slash crustacean. Simply put, a hybrid of both. Now, I can't stress on the fact that how massive this beast of a monster is, but what really stands out for me is the fact that it has an extremely long tongue that functions exactly in the same way like that in the chameleon. Now, that's just nuts. 6. Piranaconda Piranaconda 2012 100 feet What do you get when you combine two of the fiercest predators of nature? Well, the answer is the terrifying Piranaconda. The Piranaconda is a freak of nature, a genetic hybrid between a piranha and an anaconda, presumably the red-bellied piranha and the green anaconda. Yes, you heard that right. Moreover, there were two known specimens in the film, one being a male and the other a female. The female is yellowish-green color with yellow splotches, while the male is a darker green color with orange splotches instead of yellow. They have a fin on the ends of their tails, allowing them to swim faster than they slither. 5. Kamibas, Space Amoeba, 197 feet. What happens when an alien space amoeba possesses a Mata Mata turtle? Well, you get the Kamibas, a giant mutated turtle kaiju, and by giant, I mean humongous. Almost about the size of a large luxury cruise yacht. Also, this monstrous turtle weighs around 28,000 tons, which is crazy for a turtle or any creature for that matter. So, remember the name, Kamibas. 4. War Giggler, 354 feet. Now, this one has got to be the strangest hybrid monster we've seen here yet. Known as the Destruction Terror Beast, War Giggler looks like a freaky cross, or rather a cross gone wrong, between an insect and a crustacean. Although that's not necessarily a bad thing, and the humongous kaiju has got more to offer than what meets the eye. You see, the 80,000 ton War Giggler can breathe fire, and in addition to that his mouth also contains two retractable cannons. 3. Mega Kaiju, 500 feet. What happens when you merge three different giant kaijus together? 
Mega Kaiju is exactly what you get. Since Mega Kaiju is a Kaiju hybrid, created using the forms of Category 5 and Category 6, Kaiju Raijin, Hakuja, and Shrike Thorn. The Kaiju who is seen making an appearance in Pacific Rim Uprising even displays a few attributes of its previous form and just towers over the Jaegers. And so the name Mega is more than befitting. 2. Lion Turtle Avatar Animated Series 6,562 feet. Behold the Lion Turtle. This turtle is actually the largest known animal in the world of Avatar. We got to know that in the era of Rava, lion turtles populated the spirit wilds, where they served as protectors of mankind by housing human cities on their backs. Yes, entire cities, actual ones too. After all, the lion turtle is actually about the size of a small city for that matter. As a matter of fact, lion turtles are so massive that their heart itself can weigh over 120 tons. Man, talk about gigantic. 1. Genbu, Naruto Shippuden, 32,808 feet. Feast your eyes upon the largest turtle to have ever made an appearance on screen, and in this case, the largest hybrid monster too. Is it an island or is it a turtle? Well, it's actually both. Genbu, as it's called, is more commonly known as the Island Turtle. Being gigantic and ancient, this turtle usually resides in the Land of Lightning, and is actually about the size of a large island. Genbu is basically a moving fortress whose size is so great that it can basically carry a whole ecosystem. And that wraps up our list today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do check out our previous videos too. You're watching Factholic, and we'll see you around next time with another amazing new video. Peace.